ஸ்வீல்பர் சர் குணராஜ் I like poke because I guess it tastes very good when you mix it with different ingredients. I do like poke. It's very it's very good. It's like one of the most famous dishes here in Hawaii. வணக்கலாரா இப்படி இருக்கிறீங்க வில்பர் சர்குனராஜ் பேசுகிறேன் ஹலோ எவ்ரி ஒன் க்ரீட்டிங்ஸ் மை நேம் இஸ் வில்பர் சர்குனராஜ் ஐ எம் ஹியர் இன் லஹைனா இன் மாவி இன் ஹவாய் அண்ட் ஐ ஹேவ் அ வெரி வெரி ஸ்பெஷல் கெஸ்ட் வித் மீ டுடே வெல்கம் டு ஃபர்ஸ்ட் கிளாஸ் இட்ஸ் வித் மீ இஸ் மிஸ்டர் ஷேட் அலோஹா இஸ் எ கலனரி ஆர்ட் ஸ்டூடெண்ட் ஹியர் அட் லஹைனா லூனா ஹை ஸ்கூல் அண்ட் ஹி is going to increase our cultural intelligence today we're going to talk about poke terminology and this is really interesting i've always wanted to know the history of this dish and what it's all about so we have the perfect person to talk about poke today with you so here we go this is my uh, foodland bag is that really times like foodland, foodland or safe way either way safe way okay, okay so this is show you poke and then i have another one here and this is ahi yeah. ahi is the word for ahi is sort of like the fish tuna right yeah, tuna. is that tuna okay so this is ahi so typically do hawaiians will will they eat with chopsticks they eat with chopsticks forks i mean mostly it's like you see like some nice chopsticks some sometimes chopsticks okay so if you're used to eating raw stuff like sushi i guess you'd be comfortable with it. i have a friend actually who is here right now in maui who refuses to eat poke really because she's very scared why that maybe she would get sick because it's like nah. the, the the i think it's the idea of eating something raw, raw cuz yeah. if you're not used to that that so originally it was just like a snack for like sailors like they just eat it like a snack they pull it up for they like chop it up into cuz poke means it's cut into slabs Termin cut into slabs or cut into cubes okay and then you have like you know as you see these like cubes Right. It's kind of like multicultures that like okay. introduced us different ways we can make it with like either spicy or with shoyu. So Japan did the shoyu and then like came with rice and then, yeah. So poi is taro, is that it? Is that the taro plant? Taro plant. Okay. So what do you do with this poi in the is it always you you add the poi to No, it's like either like okay. it's an option thing so like uh well I use it like a, I mean I don't judge me but I do it really so I when I I usually have the plastic one so I just dip it in and I just oh, okay. eat it. Okay, so so you have to dip the the meat can you so if i ordered the ahi can i dip the ahi in the uh, yeah. yeah yeah this is poi yeah it's not it doesn't have much of a taste it's mostly like a bland but mm. it's still smooth hey interesting hey is this the same thing in here because in japan when i lived in japan you couldn't put the chopsticks in there do they do that here in nah, hawaii this is a pie us but oh, okay probably in japan they're sorry probably. all the japanese people just for what's up mate one 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 moment so we have uh all these different ones like taco or yeah. white crab kimchi and all, are these like all popular these, yeah, kind so of yeah there's so many different versions of it cuz like i said it's been evolved multiple times so okay. this would be taco okay. which is octopus okay octopus and then this would be like what like there's like toppings on that one and that's yeah. as you see salmon with which right. is basically just still fish and then sometimes it just be crab Oh, just a crab. There's like and I know there's like another one, but I forgot what. Kimchi, that that's a Korean, isn't it? Yeah, so Korean, is that a yeah. Korean influence? We also have that too, yeah. Okay. We have um yeah, we have like multicultural like Asians. We have like Chinese so there. Show you. Oh, right yeah, there. there's a show. There it is. There's the show you. The near one right there in Spicy Hawaii. Ah, with the mayo. That's why the mayo. The last couple of times I've been to Hawaii, I always get the spicy ahi. Yeah, no, that's fine. I love it. It's so delicious, yeah. right? Um I think I've had one of those. And that comes with onions. We put onions. Yeah, and in it's there? not usually onions. Right. Here. Okay. And cuz I think really in my experience I feel like food is one of those things that brings people together. Oh yeah. Right? That's why I kind of want to be a chef too because yeah. like food is very important because if I don't do it, we yeah, yeah, kind of like we tell everyone right. stop what they're doing. Come on, oh, we're going to go pray. Right, and right, we're going right, to circle right. and we have one person where we cry first. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> But no, no, I'm just kidding. But yeah, we all get together and we all hold hands for head down and then you just pray and then we eat. That's beautiful. Also, it's really interesting because in in Tamil Nadu, we have a way to say Hello and how are you? Yeah. We never actually a lot of times we never ask. I mean, some people will say yeah, pretty you're doing, which means how are you? But in the village and a lot of other areas to care for someone, the what we use is actually sapte la. Which means have you eaten yet? And they're not actually asking about have you actually either actually asking about your well-being. Hey, sapte la. And then ah, sapta ji, sapta ji, you know? Cuz they're like if you didn't eat cuz no one, I mean, if you didn't eat, bang 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 sapte la. You come and go go go. Let's go and eat. So beautiful. I just love how culture is so many different cultures there's similarities and differences. Thank you so much everyone for watching this program. This has been how to eat poke 
with uh, with Shad. Thank you so much for being part yeah. of this program. I really appreciate. How do you say? Oh yeah, mahalo, right? That's yeah, mahalo. 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 Or until we meet again, because we just it's never a goodbye. It's like I'll meet. You know, I it's not exactly like I'll like I'll meet you again. It might be like I don't know, like what six years. That's or aloha o o oi. Aloha oi. Aloha oi. Aloha oi. Until we meet again. Yeah. Until it's we meet interesting because in Tamil we have the same thing. Yeah. Poitu, vange. So it means poitu means go. Vanga means come. Please go and come. It's never like Wonga, you know, oh, like, like go, leave. leave. <laughs> Poitu Vanga. <laughs> Poitu Vanga. Bye bye. Poitu Vanga. So, yeah. ah, look at that. It's beautiful. Roman Andri, thank you very much for watching this program. Mahalo, and we wish you all aloha. Please, wherever you are in this world, use food. I know a lot of people enjoy watching videos of food. They like cooking food, like Shad. Go, yeah. yeah, use that to make connections with other people. That is what I want people to take away from this message. Thank you so much, Shad. Thank you so much. Enjoy the poke now. Oh, yeah. Roman Andri. My favorite Pokeball is spicy ashi. My favorite Pokeball is kimchi shrimp. Show you poke. Um, it's very special to me because that's what I grew up on. I always eat it with poi. Spicy ahi with sushi rice. And I love it with taigu and furikake on top. Poke is important to us Hawaiian people because it's a main tradition that has been passed down from our kupuna. It is really important to me because it reminds me of when me and my grandfather would ride around the island. Aloha, Oi! Wilbur Sargunaraj. <laughs>